What's up? Hi. Sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, now I can. Hello. These PPN8s might as well be water pistols for all the good they do. Okay. That's all you wanted to tell me? Okay, cool. Shipping and receiving. Send someone to find a cutting torch. We need to get into these cargo cages and see what supplies are in here. Uh, that'd be cool. I don't know if I've got anything that would cut. I mean, I guess maybe the Q-beam? I don't know if I want to waste that on this, but let's try it. I don't know if the Q-beam is a cutting torch. No. Okay. We're not going to waste any more Q-beam on this. All right, what do we got? Hey, everyone. Thank you we lost for Tegan Rummer during the first stages of the attack. She's, she's, I'm glad you were able she's to save right, her isn't she? I'm sorry, who's talking? Dr. Igwe is okay. blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. Captain Elazar will want to speak to you. Okay. We okay. only recently learned you were still on the station. Well, where, where, where else would I be? <laughs> I mean, aside from dead. Would you think I would have abandoned ship? Thank you for saving Officer Chaudhry, Dr. Yu. She has told us of the telepaths. Ah, that was the one in the greenhouse. Hey, Jessica, log in with Reployer Reployer if you need access to the cages. Don't tell anyone it makes me look stupid. Got it. That's one way we could just get into the cages. Exterior door welded. Mr. McGill, as a safety precaution, we have disabled critical machinery required to open the exterior door of Cargo Bay B. As added insurance, the door has been welded shut. If that bay is for storage only, then we want to be certain there can be no accidental opening. Restoring the bay door to full function will be practically impossible. Thank you. Let's see here. Hey, Anders, got your message about the shipment failure. I dispatched an engineering operator to check it out, and something weird happened. Telemetry shows it ran into some sort of energetic lattice work. The readings were unlike anything I've seen, side effect from a psychotronics project. In any case, the operator was able to move through it and investigate, but shortly after it became unresponsive. I'm going to have to get human eyes on it, but, af but all our people are tied up with a critical fuel transfer. When that's done, I'll send someone to check it out. Catastrophic accident report. There was a blast in cargo bay A. Exterior doors ruptured. All the bulkhead doors automatically sealed, but several of my people are missing. Dr. Igwe from Psychotronics was in there, and he's gone as well. Okay, so that's where I just came through, and we've been reading about this for a while. There was this big accident, um, which I have no idea if that has to do with the, the aliens or not. Extertina said she saw a floating orb ship drift over to chlorine trifluoride container and detonate okay so it does have to do with the aliens that must be the the cystoids possibly some kind of static discharge but all of the dampeners were activated secondary blasts went off not a long ago in fuel storage but i have that sealed tight and no one was in there something is going on nobody's calling me back let me know as soon as you get this i'm going to take the rest of my people over to life support as a precaution Ooh, all right let's talk to you guys first before Thanks for saving okay floating okay. in a cargo Whoa. crate outside the ship, ship. We need to help as if many of them get to the safety as we can. Longer than any of us. Okay. Can I talk Chief to you? Chief Elazar, we'll want to talk to you. Oh, okay, I guess not. Watching the main door. Thank, thank you for telling me exactly what you're doing. I appreciate your diligence. Can I open this? Haha. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, that's cargo bay door utilities. What do we got here? Cage one controls. And cage two controls. That's what we need. Bingo. Give me your stuff. Oh, give me your weapon upgrades. Give me your used plastic tubing. I wonder if these uh, cargo crates uh, recycle down. Because I would totally recycle them. Um, I kind of want to set up a turret here, because I have a feeling that, that bad things are going to happen, but we're going to have to hack it in order to do that. So let's go ahead and do the hacking. Come on. Either I'm getting better at this, or 
these are getting a little bit easier. Okay, so this... Oh, said it opened. Ha, ah, but I've got the leverage. Oh, I guess I can't pick you up. Come on. It's definitely weird how it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't in a decent way, you know? There we go. See, like, I was just able to throw it that far, but I couldn't carry it. But no matter. We can get in here. I think leverage is definitely one of the more useful things. Which is so ironic, because you just, it's just to open up places, so it's not really, I mean, granted, I did just destroy a Typhon by throwing something at him, which was pretty cool. So I might start using that tactic more often, because, uh, because I'm running out of ammo. Alright, good to know. I think, first things first, let's go ahead and dismantle these things. And, yeah, and then we'll move forward. Okay, shipping and receiving, is that where I'm going? Oh, is this where? Oh, this is where I was just looking into. Okay. Yikes. Creepy. And this is locked. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Ugh. God, these guys are creepy. Okay. So they're all just... Ugh. Just doing weird things out there. Okay, so that's the etheric phantom that's just dogging me there. Is that money? That's a fried hard drive. Alright, upstairs. Alfred Rose and Sam Hurt. Thanks for getting Chaudhry back to us. She's still rattled. Says the things were in her mind. So I wonder how many of these... What is it doing? Oh my god, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things. Like it like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse. Maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. So, I'm wondering if all these people here are like the ones that were in the cafeteria that I detached from the mind, mind thing, or the ones that were in the, uh, not the cafeteria, but the, uh, greenhouse as well. Alright. Might as well take medical while we're at it. Hello. Nice Hi. Yeah, please. Heal me. Quite. Thank you. I don't really want to do any paperwork. Thank you very much. Cooler fan, frayed wire... Right. Okay, let's talk to whoever's in charge. Hi, Sarah. So you came all this way? Only to get back into Talos? Only way in is through the door to Cargo Bay B, which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Kind of like you. I'm the only one with the code. It's yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The my men told me power's been restored to the fabricator. That was you, wasn't it? I was quick to underestimate you, doctor. Yeah, that don't means underestimate me. All we need is the turret fabricator plan. There's one in the safe in the security office, but the hull breach puts it out of my reach. Still, if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember... The only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. Remember, it's the eradicator fabrication plan we want, not the reployer plan. Whatever the hell a reployer is. 
If you find a way out of here, take Dr. Eagle with you. Maybe oh, he'll be of some help elsewhere. Can I talk to you? Dr. Igwe figures he'd survive. Dumb luck, He's right I here. Hi. I can't talk to you, apparently. Those things will eventually find a way in here if we don't take the fight to them. Day one, I dropped my dog off at the groomer. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've read about that one. All right. Dr. Yu, again, Hi. I want to thank you for the timely rescue. Yeah, I you almost died. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe. Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but... Well, now might be best. Yeah, I'm sure you could make better use of it. We need those turrets. Oh. Thank you, I've got a, b a bajillion Neuromods at this point, but thank you for giving me one. I am worried the lifts were sealed for a reason. But I don't know if that will prevent the aliens from moving through the station. Okay. Hey, are you there? Chief? Yes? Is there something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief, if there were any problems, I checked the schedule, the roster. I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't any too... Luck with those turrets? Igwe. Chief, I even had Leitner sick... Please relay the following to the security crew at the next staff meeting. Earthside sent a very good appraisal of our prov provisioning and cargo staff during last month's visit by a board of directors member. Talos cargo staff performed admirably during the inspection. Well done. Keep up the good work. You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay cycle. Take Nicole out for a nice dinner, all right? Yes, Chief. Thank you, Chief. So this is the plan. Put the turrets in the loading zone. So they've got the barricades, but oh, uh, they might actually. So if I'm looking at the plan here, that's the loading zone. That's where they want them. Lucky to be here or not, might have been safer in his crate. All right. So let's go over what we're supposed to do here. I need to open cargo bay B. Which sounds like I'm back inside Tel <laughs> I'm back inside Talos One. I still need to get Alex's arming key away from him. First I have to get through the cargo bay, but Chief Alazar won't open the doors unless I get her team some turrets. As soon as the doors open, the Typhon will flood their way in. It's either that or find some other way to get the doors open. So I could go against her and try to open them myself, which would put everybody in risk at risk, or I can it sounds like go back outside and figure out how to find the um the turret building uh plan hmm so there's a, an accident that means that i can get into the beams and waves lab oh dang it so this is okay disgruntled employee that's the one i want I need to, they were employee 1129, they were fired and scheduled to leave the station, so I could have used that to unlock their tracking bracelet. Alright, and I also want to kill the imposter cook, so I got lots to do, lots and lots to do. Um, let's see, what to do first though? I mean, I think either way, I'm going to end up going back out into space. Because I think I'm stuck here otherwise. Oh, I can get into the guts from here. Where am I? I'm in cargo bay here. So if I can unlock the guts, I can get into there and then back up. But I don't really want to do that. But I can also just exit the cargo bay into space. I don't think I can get back into deep storage. Unless... I go through the Arbitorium again. I just hope he doesn't lock me in there if I go in again, because there's no way out that time. Hardware Labs. I don't think I've been in there either. 
that's the beams and waves lab that is the breach that I can get into all right well let's let's look around here a bit more before we head back out into space and then I think I think we'll just uh, must be a way to get some turrets online go for it because the other thing I want to do is go back to the neuromod area and um I, I want to get into the volunteer ward and find that cook. So I'm definitely going to take him out. Chief, Rose here. I've covered Bay 1. Nothing. How solid is your source? Solid. Sweep the area again. Word is the smuggler is moving the contraband out during the next cycle. Maybe if you got me one of those fancy helmets from Psychotronics, that'll speed things up. Not funny. <laughs> Sorry. Sweep the area again and report back. Elazar out. These Transtar PPN-8 pistols are mostly for show. They don't do much against the attackers. With the eradicated turrets, we have a chance. Hmm. The thermal guy could just walk this way. That'd be the best, but I think he's going to be difficult. Come on. There we go. Thermal absorption. So if I'm fighting against another one of these things, I can absorb more fire damage. I got 10 neuromods. I got some stuff I can spend. God, what do I do with this, though? Do I go for... Do I go for sneaking? Do I go for upgrading the tech weapons? Do I up upgrade my psychotronic skill? Hmm. Do I get into hacking three? I think I might want to grab electrostatic burst. Just because that'll be really useful against robotic enemies. So I think I'm just going to grab that. And I kind of want to grab regeneration. Because I regenerate up to 10 health immediately after taking damage. Which will help my longevity here. And then... Not mobility that I care about. Um, I think, I think we'll grab the allows the use of weapon upgrade kits to upgrade non-standard tech weapons beyond modification level one. So I think we're going to do that. So that way, when we go to our tech weapons, like our lovely glue cannon, um, I want to increase the incapacitation rate. That'll be nice. And. Reload speed would be best for this thing. Let's see, we have spare parts, and we do have four more upgrade kit uh, things. So let's see. Do I want... Increase the duration of stun effect and amplifies damage to robotic targets. Still, I kind of want to put the range on this disruptor stun gun. We'll leave that one alone for now. And then I just, I don't have enough ammo to really utilize the Q-beam right now. So I think I'm just going to leave everything as is. All right. Let's see what's in this room. Hi, Rose. I just listened to you. If you hadn't come along, I'd still be at the mercy. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you. You are very welcome. I'm happy to help. controlled by those things. Food and supplies. I've gathered all the supplies I could find. It looks like we have enough food to hold for several days as long as we're rationing. Oh, so I probably should not take all of their food. I'm not going to take all your guys' food. That's mean. I wanted to scream, but I couldn't even do that. I felt like I was drowning. I thought in myself. I don't know what I thought. I heard that some of the other security officers... Who's talking? Star mounting a rescue operation? No, nobody cares about us. I was in fuel storage when when the fire broke out and everyone began running. That must have been terrible. They weren't running from the fire. It was these shapes. I had contained the fire and 
I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? Probably. I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they play Pretty. This? Pretty intelligent, I yeah. all the escape pods malfunction. All of them. How is that possible? Because Transtar doesn't give a crap about us. That's how we're expendable. All right. Pioneers of a space industry. Working aboard a station, space station like Talos is comparable to working on Earth. Employees tend to forget that they are in space and adapt very well. Oh, we have, we have looked at this one already. We can have used cigars on hand. Um, let's see here. Note. Let's see. Details of incident. The accident occurred during fuel transfer. The blast walls held. Now the blast door is closed and the damage contained, but we lost some crew in there. Power has been knocked out to multiple cargo systems. Can't get the resources I need to get in there. Everyone is tied up. I don't know why I'm filling this out, except I don't know what else to do at this point. Talos is falling apart. Ooh. What do we got in email? Hazmat transfer today. Good morning. The delivery shovel, shuttle, shovel. The delivery shuttle arrived earlier with chlorine tri trifluoride aboard. It has been offloaded and awaits you in cargo bay A. I need everyone involved with the transfer to review procedures and protocols at the start of the shift today, as you will be the lucky individuals that get to escort these containers to fuel storage. I don't think I need to remind you what chloride, uh, chlorine tri trifluoride will do to you if you mishandle it. Just ask Enoch. Stick to the procedures, and everything will be fine. Once it's secured, I'll give you. I'll, I'll give you all the rest of the shift off. You're welcome. Sad face. <laughs> Let's see. Dr. Deo Igwe is assigned to your area temporarily. I've encouraged him to stay out of your way and avoid interacting with cargo bay personnel. There are some incoming materials I'd like him to handle directly. His work is confidential and he answers directly to me. So if you have any qu issues, please contact my office, Bellamy. All right. I'm going to take your your fuel ah. hey I found a safe sweet secret stash all right so I think I think I got everything in here just take a look around here and then spacewalk I think I wonder what's over there I wonder if I could fly to that What does this do? Oh. You raise me up. Um, well. Can I just grab all the turrets that they need instead of fabricating them? <laughs> and there's enough turrets. There's this one. I could just repair one of the other ones and then... Coming down. Do this. Let's deploy you. Uh, let's go ahead and hack you so you don't shoot me instead. Oh, wait. The wrong way around. Nope. Wrong button. There we go. Okay, so one. Two. And I need to place one more turret. Yeah, so I don't even need to get the special ingredients there. I mean, I can, because that would be useful for me if I wanted to ever build any turrets, but honestly, I don't know why I would want to do that. They're not as helpful as I as one would think. And here's a turret, right here. Isn't that nice? I'm just going to throw you down there. I'm gonna keep looking around first. What's in here? Is this also sectioned off? Um, oh, what do we got here? Operator. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Because I was looking at my, uh, my spacesuit and realizing there's a bit of a chunk that's missing, so I'd like to repair myself. Especially 
if we're going to have a big all-out battle with everything that's coming out of that door. Alright, let's pick you up. Oh, and then there's turrets over here, too. I should probably actually just repair you. Like, why not? I don't know why I went through the trouble of finding this other one. That'll be good if, in case something comes this way. Alright, so we checked down there. We got everything back here, I thought. Yeah, because I turned the power back on, everything's good. I didn't mess with any of the shipping container buttons, because I, th I think those are on the other side. So I'll take a look at those two. Here's the guts loading bay. But I don't think I can... Yeah, she's not unlocking any of that until... Ah, here we are. Cargo lift six. Oh. So I could have just done that to get up there. Can I get here? But will it open the door is the question. Oh, I see. I could use that to get up. Alright. Well, I think that's pretty much it. I think we're probably about ready. Can I open this? Oh, snap. There's stuff in here. Well, I want to do that. Come on. Let's open you up, too. Um, yeah, I think really we're gonna, I'm probably gonna put some stuff in the fabricator here, and then get set for an all-out assault of these typhoids. Um, because I think we've got pretty much everything done here. Oh, and there's, this isn't where I came in, is it? Or maybe it is. I came in one of these, I thought. Yeah, that's the one I came in. There we go. Can I get in this one? No, this one goes out to space. Um, that was the other one I could have docked if I didn't dock Igwe. Um, okay, cool. It's actually a really cool system they got going on here. Very efficient. Alright, let's recycle. And honestly, I think we're just gonna... Ah, uh, no. With a big battle coming on, I probably want to make extra bullets. So I think let's start with the pistol. I think that's gonna be better to not hit anybody who might be in front of me at the time. Let's make some shotgun shells, just in case everything goes to hell. And I think let's make one more Neuromod. Or two more, two more Neuromods I think I can do. Okay. Um, do I have any coagulating gel? I've got two. Do I have any anti-rad? I've got four. We're doing okay on those. And I don't need the bolt caster, so I'm just going to leave that alone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to get these turrets set up uh, for our assault, and I will see you uh, when we have that all set up. If you've been enjoying this series and want to see more of what I'm creating, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell icon so you get notifications. Like my videos so that they show up in the YouTube algorithms. And as always, folks, I will see you in the next game.